What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today I'm going to do a little comparison video. I'm going to turn three acrylic resin style blanks. They're all different. I will be comparing them on a somewhat of a subjective scale. I'll give you my opinions and I even have a bonus material that's not an acrylic or an epoxy or a resin. So stick around. We'll get these pens turned assembled into a kit, ready to go, and then I'll give you my opinions. Let's go. All right, we're over here at my table saw where I'm going to use this as a show floor today, so to speak. I have four different pens turned here. All of them are the same exact kit. They're all uh, Wall Street 2s. I just turned them, got them put into kits, and uh, here's where I'm going to give you my opinions on what I think of each different type of material. I do have my checklist here of items that I want to 
talk about. So uh, let's bring in for a closer look and let's get this comparison started. Okay, so to kick off the comparison, here is the first pen. This is acrylic acetate. It is a blank that I purchased. I did not paint any of these tubes. So these are as is. I've learned that in the future, I'll definitely start painting my tubes. Um, but that's, that's another story for another day. I wanna start by comparing the uh, cutting. When I cut this blank to size, it, it cut fairly smoothly. There wasn't too much issue. Drilling, um, again, the entry hole wasn't bad. I did have the most blowout on this type of blank. So in order to compensate for that, even though I do try to go as slow as I can when I drill, to compensate for that, I drill the, or I cut the tube, or the blank, I should say, I cut the blank a little longer than needed. So if it blows out, I can square that up and it's not a huge deal. The gluing up with all of these pens, I used a two-part epoxy. If, if it has any type of resin, epoxy, anything other than wood in the blank, I go straight for epoxy. That's just a general rule of thumb for me. If it's a straight wood blank, I just use medium CA. But that's just me personally. Other people do other things and the idea is that you find what works for you. So gluing, again, there wasn't much issue at all. Uh, it went fine. Squaring and barrel trimming. Uh, it took a little bit of time because I cut the blank long because of the blowout. But other than that, it wasn't too bad again. Uh, it was a little tough because the acrylic acetate is uh, somewhat brittle, so I had to pay attention to it. When turning it, because it is hardened and it is brittle, um, I had to take extremely shallow passes with uh, sharp tools. If I didn't have sharp tools, if I didn't take shallow passes, if I didn't have my lathe cranked up to a really fast speed, uh, I generally, that's when I generally get in trouble and struggle with these blanks. But other than that, as long as you take your time, go slow, light cuts, sharp tools, fast speeds, none of these pens that I described today will be an issue. And then finishing, I just used Hut Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish, and that seemed to uh, make this one pop pretty nice. So here it is one more time. Overall, this is not a terrible blank, but of the four pens that I created, I would probably rank it fourth in terms of um, just in terms of overall turning and, and the experience of working with acrylic acetate. So this one actually comes in last place. The next one I wanna talk about is this Alumalite pen. This is a, a blank that I cast myself. Again, I did not paint the tubes. Uh, I used quite a bit of mica powder, so the tubes were able to be hidden a little better in this pen. So cutting, cutting was super smooth. Alumalite is a hard enough material that when it hardens, it, it, it is definitely hard, but it's also easy to work with. Uh, so it cut just like, you know, a hot knife through butter. Drilling. Same, same deal, it was super easy to drill. There was virtually no blowout with this blank at all. Uh, so I've had success with Alumalite blanks not blowing out and I drilled it the same exact way as the previous blank, the acrylic acetate. Squaring and barrel trimming. Again, because it is a, 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 an easier material to work with, that wasn't a problem. Turning, again, fast speeds, sharp tools, and light cuts, and there's no problem at all with this blank. After you get it somewhat round, I'm, uh, you're able to 
take a little deeper cuts and get really nice ribbons that fly off the lathe. Uh, but you have to be careful not to gouge too far because that is definitely a possibility. Um, but other than that, this was a pretty easy turn. Uh, in terms of finishing and smell, uh, in, in terms of finishing, again, I used Hut Ultra Gloss plastic polish. Uh, it, it seemed to shine the blank up pretty nicely. Here, this one is one more time. I would probably give this one the probably first or second place. I don't know which. Uh, and it's not just because I cast the blank, it's, you know, the material. Uh, the one thing I did forget to mention with the acrylic acetate blank here and the Illumilite here that I'm about to describe is the overall general smell of when you're drilling, when you're cutting, when you're um, turning, all that kind of stuff. Um, this acrylic acetate definitely has an odor to it. Personally, I don't mind it too much, but um, there is definitely an odor that isn't the most pleasing in the world. So uh, with that, you'll definitely wanna wear a respirator. You'll wanna wear a respirator with, when working with any of these materials, but, but definitely with this one. The Illumilite, because I've cast the Illumilite, um, I have noticed that it does have a slight smell, but not near the smell as the acrylic acetate. Um, it's not too bad, but it is there. Again, I would recommend wearing a mask. The next pen I want to showcase and compare is this polyester resin blank. This polyester resin blank was cast by John Pierce and I want to thank him for this blank. I thought this blank absolutely turned out stunning. Um, I, I love the way it looks. It's super sharp, it, it shimmers, it, it does all kinds of fun stuff. Um, but again, let me go through my comparison notes here. Uh, the cutting process, it cut very, it cut very nicely. It was, it was smooth. Drilling. Drilling wasn't too much of an issue. Um, I probably had the second most blowout with this polyester resin, um, second to the acrylic acetate. But again, I cut my blanks a little long, so I was able to compensate for that. And at the end of the day, it wasn't an issue for me. Um, squaring and barrel trimming, again, not too bad, just make sure you go slow, make sure you take off light passes. Turning the blank wasn't too bad. I did get one catch uh, while I was turning and I had to repair the blank. So it did seem a little brittle. I don't know if that's just a, a polyester resin thing or what, but it did seem a little brittle. I did have to take extra good care and, and pay attention more when I was turning this because if I wasn't patient or if I wasn't paying attention or if I let my mind wander, um, this blank could have gone really south really fast. But overall, I'm, I'm happy with the way it came out. Turning it, just like all the others, high speed, sharp tools, light cuts, and, and you'll eventually get there. Uh, you'll save yourself a lot of time if you take the time to take light cuts instead of try to hog out material and then you end up blowing it apart and then you have to glue it back together and waste more time that way yada 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 uh, finishing and polish in my opinion this is the best finished pen again i just used hut ultra gloss plastic polish i think this shined really nice it took the polish really well and i'm really excited about how how this this pen shines in closing with this pen again i didn't i did not color the tubes or well paint the tubes or or do anything like that or the blank um and finally the the smell of pr polyester resin polyester resin stinks just straight up uh i don't cast polyester resin 
because I've heard people say it smells really bad. When I was drilling the blanks, when I was sanding the blanks, even when I was turning the blanks at times, it's an excellent resin to finish and to turn and all that, but it definitely has an odor that I, I can't describe. Uh, I wasn't terribly bothered by it, but again, I would definitely wear a respirator when turning it because it does have a distinct smell. And finally, the bonus material. This is not a resin. This is not an epoxy. This is not anything like that. It is a Corian countertop blank. This one almost looks like Funfetti. What I did was I glued two pieces together. And if you look real closely, you can see the seam. I put the seam, one of the seams where the clip is. I don't know if you can see that in the video. But um, and then the other seam is on the other side. I don't even the camera might pick that up. But anyway, this looks like a Funfetti pen almost. Um, I have to say, this had a lot of interesting characteristics. It turned a, a lot easier than what I expected. It was it was really a treat to turn. Uh, when I was well, let me let me go back. When I was cutting it, it cut just fine. Drilling, there wasn't an issue. I did have a little bit of blowout. It, there was probably you know there, there was an okay amount of blowout but again I, I cut it a little long so when i squared up the tube to the uh blank it wasn't an issue gluing because i was already using two-part epoxy that's what i used to glue the glue up went fine I'm, I'm guessing because it's not a resin you could probably use medium ca or thick ca or whatever you wanted um, if you've experienced that leave a comment and let me know Squaring and barrel trimming. This material was extremely hard. So to get it square, it didn't sand too easy on the on the uh, disc sander, but I did eventually get there. So again, light cuts, fast speeds, sharp tools, all that fun stuff. Because if you don't have that with this, you're definitely gonna struggle. The one thing I will say when I was turning this blank is when I had my tool angled uh, a certain way there were definitely shavings that were coming off that were pretty sharp um, it didn't hurt but it, it definitely wouldn't hurt to wear some kind of smock or some kind of protective gear at the very least I would definitely be wearing your safety glasses and face shield uh, but this th this one was absolutely a, a fun one to turn uh, and then finishing and polish, again, I just used Hut Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish. And again, I would probably rate this one number two in terms of finishing and polish because it did shine up pretty nicely. Uh, so overall, if I were to rank these materials, I know I kind of started that earlier, but um, kind of got out of it. If I had to rank these materials in terms of turning, I would probably turn the Alumalite first as my favorite. And then competing for very close second and third, I'd probably have to say my that polyester resin was my second favorite. The Corian countertop is a very, very, very close third to the second polyester resin. And then in fourth, I would definitely put the acrylic acetate. Uh, all of these blanks, all of these materials are definitely turnable. They're a lot of fun because they're pens no matter what. I do have my preferences, but this was just to give you an idea of my opinion and my, my subjective opinion on how I thought each of these materials turned and performed and, and what my initial thoughts were because I've never actually turned polyester resin or Corian countertop until this video. So that was, a, that was a nice little treat and surprise for me. So with that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if I left anything out in this video, you know, contact me, put it in the comments, I'll comment back. 
I'll do all that kind of stuff to answer your questions, answer your comments. And uh, what do you say we, we throw it back to the, uh, to the other side of the shop and we'll close this video out. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. As always, again, this one was a lot of fun, just like most of all the other projects that I've done so far. I know I say it a lot, but I really do have a good time with these. Again, I want to emphasize that this is my somewhat unofficial, completely subjective review of these different materials. I also understand completely that this is a qualitative analysis versus a quantitative analysis. So, so, so there's no real hard data there to back up what I'm saying. So you can, you know, take this as information for whatever it might or might not be worth. Uh, your experience with these different materials might be similar to mine. They might be different than mine. That's okay. I'm just telling you what my experiences are with these materials personally, just to give you an idea of what to expect if you go to turn some of these materials. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. If you like the video, make sure you give it the thumbs up. Make sure you comment on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you visit my website, cross-cut-creations.com. And we'll see you next time.